Okay, let's go. Mic check. Mic's working. Babies. Asleep. Hair and makeup. Looking good. Let's go. In today's episode of Moment Days, we are going to really talk about front row. We're going to really go in there and demystify what front row is all about. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of customers reach out to me saying, hey, Mo, can we get hold of a brand new Teams room system um, that is a front row system? And customers are starting to assume, and some partners as well, are assuming that front row is a brand new Teams room system. It isn't. In the words of the great Jimmy Vaughan, front row is just a video layout. And we're going to dive into a bit more detail about all the different video layouts that we have. Um, during COVID-19 and while everybody was working from home, Microsoft made huge strides to bring across great video layouts to suit those types of meetings that were taking place. We bought things like Together Mode, we bought you know, gallery views, large gallery views, etc. But as people now start to return to work, we're now starting to see a shift in behavior. We're starting to see people sitting inside of meeting rooms which have a rectangular table with 10 people sitting there all facing each other. And the experience on the other side, on the remote side is, we get to see a room full of 10 people, 10 tiny people with 10 tiny little heads, and we can't figure out who's actually talking across there. That's the reason we decided to bring a brand new video layout called Front Row. And Front Row is really designed to foster that immersiveness, to foster that deeper sense of connection with remote attendees. Instead of you seeing a room full of 10 people with 10 tiny heads, you now will see individual video streams of people across there. It brings us on a, a more level playing field. And when you couple that with great hardware and you couple that with cameras placed at eye level, you get great experiences. We also know that while using Teams, a lot of people love to use chat. And, and, and when you're using a, a Teams room system, traditionally, if people are chatting away remotely, you only see a chat bubble that pops up. You don't actually get to see the chat that's happening. So with Front Row, what we've done is we've now bought chat functionality as well. In fact, let's dive into a little deeper about what Front Row uh, layer actually looks like. Here on screen, you'll see what the software experience is. Um, when you're using Front Row in its full glory, you'll see on the right-hand side, we bring that chat functionality so you're able to actually keep track of what's going on as part of that meeting. In the middle, you're given a large canvas with your presentation, so whatever's being presented presented in that meeting will be shown uh, uh, front and center across there. Across the bottom, we're bringing more lifelike size images of people there as well. Uh, and in future updates, we're going to be able to identify those people as well. That's coming later this year. Uh, and then on the left hand side of the screen, uh, today, if you're using Teams, uh, Teams rooms with front row, you get to see people raising their hands and the order they raise their hands in. In fact, in the very near future, we're bringing what we call Microsoft Loop Components as well. And with Loop Components, what you're able to do is if you have meeting room notes and agenda and action items, those sort of things, they'll be displayed on the left hand side. Now, what if we're using different size screens? We know when we're creating uh, rooms and we use different displays, some customers like to use single displays, you know, 16 by nine displays. Some wanna go dual screen. Some wanna use the brand new uh, 21 by nine form factors that we're now starting to see uh, coming to market today. We thought of that as well. Teams rooms with a future update coming, uh, hopefully this half, um, you will now, we will now be able to identify which screen the Teams room system is plugged into. And while you're using front row layouts, we will adjust the screen accordingly. So for example, if you're using a single screen, we will actually cut out the Microsoft Loop components on the left-hand side, thus creating a larger uh, presentation screen with chat functionality, with video running across the bottom. With a 21 by nine aspect ratio or a large display, we're gonna give you the full glory of what front row actually looks like with all the elements of uh, uh, across there as well, with, with chat, with presentation, with video across the bottom, and of course the loop components as well. Some customers like to go dual screen depending on the meeting room that they're setting up. And if you go dual screen, you're able to actually pin active speakers on one of the screens as well. So it's looking absolutely amazing, uh, regardless of which screen that you're plugging into. If you haven't tried front row, you can try that out today already. As um, Soon as you're in a meeting, simply hit the video layout button and you'll notice front rows there. Hit that front row button and experience the goodness of what front row looks like. You can actually set front row as a default layout as well. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking me questions about, hey Mo, when's it coming to Android? The good news is 
it is coming to Android. It will be here later this year as well. My five minutes are now up. Hopefully the five minutes have been really super useful for you. And now we've demystified what Front Row is. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what you'd love to see in the future. For now, take care and enjoy the rest of your days.